Hello everyone, it's me, Steve. Today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about censorship and probably not in a way you think I'm gonna talk about it, but I just think this needs to be said. I see a lot of people on especially social media platforms saying censorship bad. People, people who have difference of opinions, good. You shouldn't be censoring people with different opinions. But most of the time those comments are in defense of something that's threatening, bullying, or an insult. Those three things are not opinions. An insult is not an opinion. Bullying someone is not an opinion. And threatening someone is not an opinion. If you think they are, you need to go back to school. Right? No one uses that word that way. And that happens a lot on social media. In order to push a narrative, people will misuse words that no one else uses in that context ever. Okay? But that aside, all right, I am not for censorship to a degree. All right. I believe in responsibility. You don't have an innate right to be immune from repercussions for saying anything. All right. You have to take some responsibility, personal accountability. You're not a child. All right. If you want to be a society of one, put your money where your mouth is and go live in a cave and leave everyone else alone. Be a society of one or keep your mouth shut. I, now, before I get mad, I just want to say I come at this from a little bit different perspective than a lot of internet trolls do who just want to say whatever, whenever on the internet without any repercussions or anything. First of all, other than the fact that when you get on social media, you click that button that says you agree to the terms and services. And if you don't, you get kicked out. They can run their house however they want, just like you can. Okay? If you're in my house and you start spouting stuff I don't want to hear, I am legally... I can kick you out. And if you don't leave, I can have you arrested for trespassing. It's no different. You're in their house. You're on their terms. Okay? You may not like it. Is it right? I don't know. Not the point. The point is that's how it is. Okay? That's the nature of it. And that is relevant because I have a YouTube channel. Okay, and most of the time it's educational geology videos, not all of it, but most of it. Okay, I signed or checked that box and I got on YouTube. And why do they have these things? Well, because places like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook are funded through ad revenue, advertisers. If advertisers keep seeing stuff they don't like, they are not obligated to keep supporting those things. They don't have to spend their money on supporting Twitter, Facebook, or any other social media program. They can pull their funds. And what happens then? Enough people do that. In order for those social media platforms to survive, they have to charge you money. And then you whine about that. Okay? <laughs> it's, this is ridiculous. I mean we've regressed to this point where we just think we should be able to say, do whatever we want with no consequences. I mean, I mean, I don't go to truth social and I don't check their terms, service and terms. And I don't go there. Why? Cause I don't want to be there. All right. I won't. Cause I know I'm not going to be able to agree to their terms and services. So I just stay off. All right. This isn't hard people, you know, um, but as someone who has a YouTube channel, okay, so, you know, YouTube is owned by Google at present, and I can no longer come after someone for leaving ignorant comments. My channel is mostly educational, mostly, not all the time, but mostly, but on vid my videos that aren't educational, everyone's fine. Like, I never get weird, bizarre comments on there. But on one of my like geology videos, if I do, you know, a video on geology, most of the time people are very nice and receptive and ask good questions. But every once in a while you get that one guy, that one guy who's a flat earther, a devil's uh, towers, a tree stump or mud fossil people. Okay. They always there and they're always looking. If one of my videos becomes you know, the algorithms kick it in enough, they'll start leaving comments. Now, I want to educate people, all right? Because, I mean, geology is what I do. I'm a professional geologist. It's, it's my thing, okay? And if you comment those things, I can no longer come after you for them, but I can delete your comment, and I will delete your comment. End of discussion. I don't want 
something that's meant for education being a conspiracy, weird, bizarro, just thread. I don't want my channel to be polluted with conspiracy nonsense. You want to spew that stuff? Go somewhere else. Go to some other channels. Plenty of them on YouTube. All right? When you run something like that, or you have a blog that's educational or informative or fact-based, and you get these people coming in there that really aren't, it's not appropriate, you know, or the ads, the spam, whatever. What, am I supposed to let spam in my feed too? No, I'm getting rid of that, all right? If the algorithms don't catch it, I'm going to. I watch my channel. I watch the comments. Those of you who know me know I do that. Okay, and people who have like their livelihood based off of some sort of educational platform or platform in general know what I'm talking about. You know, you get those people who can ruin your reputation coming on, they can stifle education, they can, you know, make you, they come on threatening or bullying other people, you can lose those subscribers, okay? But internet trolls just yelling freedom of speech don't get it, all right? And you need to understand basic things of how society runs. Whether we like it or not isn't the issue, okay? You know, I have my opinions on this too, and that's fine. If you have an opinion in the proper setting, we can discuss it. However, if you threaten bully or just spout conspiracy nonsense, I have no time for your BS, Click, gone, out the door. I'm not entertaining that at all. Okay, I think that's it for my rant. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you for your time.